Here they all are, families, friends, caregivers, guardians, staff, Dr. Gothard, Dr. Gear, board member Schumacher, and community partners, welcome to the 2018 Bridgeview School graduation. (laughs) 
Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Lisa Kerrigan, the very proud principal of a Bridgeview School and Focus Beyond Transition Services. Um, and so for me, it's not goodbye because these amazing young adults you see before you will be coming to Focus Beyond to uh, further their post-secondary um, training. So, but I cannot tell you how excited I am for them to move on to new experiences um, and adventures. Um, I can tell you that these graduates are ready. And they are ready because of their incredible courage, their strength, resilience, and ability um, to continue to dream. These students have um, the ability to overcome obstacles that many of us and their friends will never have to endure, and that is what makes them so strong. In addition to their own strengths, I know what the families and caregivers do to support them. So truly for all of you out there in the audience who are here and you have watched these students grow up, you've helped nurture their potential, you've helped them to get to their senior year, and they never could have done that without your love and support. And I know that all of you are gonna to continue to support these individuals as they go on to do great things. We know all of the talent that is in this group. People always comment to me about what a unique and special place Bridgeview is, um, and they say when you walk through the door, you can feel the positive energy, um, and it's truly a gift, and it's because of these young people that you see here today. Um, they give to us um, that love and support each day. It's truly unique, and I believe it is because of the feeling and heart that pours out of the students with strength. So I wanna share a quote with you now um, from Helen Keller. The best and the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with heart. That is what I see in these graduates who sit before you today. These students all have very, very different strengths and abilities. They communicate in different ways. They laugh. They cry in different ways. They get from place to place in different ways and overall experience the world in different ways. Um, but the one thing they all have in common is that innate ability to feel with their heart. And I can't think of a better quality for a young person to have as they enter the world of adulthood. Can you? All right. So now, before we start getting emotional, um, we already are, <laughs> um, I think it's time to move on. So you graduates, are you ready? Yeah, this day is for you, and you have earned every minute of it with your hard work. And we're all so proud of you. So at this time, it is my pleasure to welcome board member John Schumacher, Interim Director of Specialized Services, Dr. Gail Gear, and Superintendent Joe Gothard for opening remarks. Hi, I am John Schumacher. I'm a member of the school board, and on behalf of the school board, I would just like to say congratulations to everyone. Um, this is a big day, and uh, I think whenever there's a graduation, you always think to yourself, boy, it's been a long time, or I, I, I can't believe we're finally at this day. I'm sure you're feeling all of those emotions. Uh, I just want you to know that um, we are incredibly proud of your children, incredibly proud of these young people uh, up here with me, and we thank you for the gift of having them with us. Uh, as Lisa was saying, uh, the feeling, and I've had a chance to be involved in a few of the events with the school, uh, the feeling of love, uh, the staff, and these great uh, young people, uh, you, you do have to experience to really understand the worth. So thanks again. They're a wonderful gift to all of us and the rest of the world as they move on. Well, welcome everyone. I'm Gail Gear. I'm the Interim Director of Special Ed. I love coming to this ceremony. I just love it. Every time I hear the song, the processional, I get real emotional. So when I watch these tapes on video in a couple weeks, you know, when they're on television, the same thing will happen to me. Um, I, it's true, well, I'll watch it. Um, so I wanna thank you first for sending your, having your kids come to St. Paul schools, for trusting us to educate them, for trusting us to help them learn um, and I would like to say in return that we've learned a lot from them. 
that everything that we've learned from every child who goes through here, we will use to teach another child. And I think that that's really important because um, first, while we're here to, we're here to celebrate the, your youth today, but we're, we, don't get to, we don't have to say goodbye to them, which is what kind of the wonderful thing, one of the wonderful things about Bridgeview's graduation is that um, our kids will be going on, most of them will be going on to Focus Beyond, and we get to work with you and with them for uh, more years. And that is a real gift to us. But because that, part of that is, like I said, because we learn. We learn and we keep, um, we keep learning and we keep meeting the needs of other kids. And, and every, every child's an individual, and we have to figure that out so that they're here today successful. So thank you for being part of our family. We are really privileged to be part of your family. And um, I have a great day celebrating today because it really is a truly wonderful event. These guys have done an amazing job to be here. And uh, it's so, we're so proud. The whole system's proud of them. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe Gothard, superintendent of St. Paul Public Schools, and, and so happy to be here with you today. Principal Kerrigan, colleagues, graduates, and families, I'm so proud to speak to you this morning to recognize our outstanding graduates in this commencement ceremony. A very heartfelt congratulations to Bridgeview's class of 2018. I couldn't be more proud of you, and I know I'm not alone. St. Paul Public Schools is so lucky to have a school like Bridgeview with dedicated staff who make it everything it is. And let's give them a round of applause. Back to you graduates, our focus today. I want you to know that while you may not may be done with this part of your life, you're not finished yet. Like all of us, you're on a journey. Today is one mile post and many others lie ahead. Bridgeview graduates, as you continue your journey, I urge you to keep your expectations high. Keep studying and working to make the most of your potential. Parents and other family members, keep your standards high too. The hard work that your students have done at Bridgeview has prepared them to attain more and even more. You know all of us need to keep our standards high. Whether we're graduates, students, parents, teachers, or administrators, we owe it to ourselves and to our world to challenge ourselves to always push for that next accomplishment, the next possibility. If today is about anything, it is about that possibility. What we are doing today that we may not have thought possible a few years ago, and what we will be doing a year or two years or four years from now that seems like a dream today. As you move into the future, I urge you to keep that sense of possibility alive and well as you go about every daily task. And please remember the people who have helped get you here today, the family members, the teachers, the counselors, the friends, remember and know that you will always have someone with whom to share your dreams, someone who shares your sense of possibility. And, and finally, to the Bridgeview community, I, I, can't, uh, I can't end without saying this. You know, a community is truly judged by the way that our youth and young people are valued. And we're looking at the product of those values today and seeing them come out in your work and your dedication uh, with them and families. And I couldn't be more proud as the superintendent of St. Paul Public Schools uh, to say uh, that this community at Bridgeview uh, is exceptional. So I really, really commend uh, this entire community today. Thank you. Thank you for those very inspirational and heartfelt words. So I'm very excited to introduce this year's commencement speaker, Keith Hardy. Keith is a former St. Paul uh, Schools board member and is active in the St. Paul community. When he is not working his project manager job at U.S. Bank, he is very busy serving on boards and working in the community by being a teacher, tutor, mentor, and advocate. He was named Volunteer of the Year for Pillsbury United Communities, American Cancer Society, American Diabetes Association, and Toastmaster. I'm not quite sure how he has completed 47 marathons in addition. Uh, so, but Keith has been a tremendous supporter of Bridgeview and always taken the time to visit and come to special events. Um, and he's a supporter of student success at all schools throughout the St. Paul community overall. He's very caring and has a genuine interest in Bridgeview students and family. And I was honored when he accepted um, the invitation to speak today. Um, 
So please join me in welcoming Keith Hardy to the podium. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome young leaders up here. A wise woman once said the following, follow your passion, stay true to yourself, never follow someone else's path unless you're lost in the woods and you see a path, then by all means, you should follow that path. Yes, indeed, Ellen DeGeneres has a lot of good advice in life, doesn't she? Well, good morning again. Thank you so much, Principal Kerrigan. Morning to our district leaders. Morning to the fantastic Bridgeview teachers and staff who are here. To our wonderful parents, caretakers, guardians, family members, and cheerleaders. And of course, most especially to the class of 2018. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> You know, with all due respect to the other wonderful schools in St. Paul Public School District, and there are many, many wonderful schools here, Ridgeview really rocks. There's a lot that happens here. I, I truly love this school. I've seen amazing during all eight years I served on the school board and every year since. Students on a regular basis have been succeeding, have been brought forth to live a full and fulfilling life. And I have to say, probably embarrass her a little bit, but I especially have seen that since uh, Lisa Kerrigan was hired as the leader of this program in this building. Uh, you can applaud her. From her granny get up during the annual talent show, if you haven't, if you haven't seen that, grab a video to her unabashed belief that every student, every student who comes through Bridgeview has, can live a full and fulfilling life. I've seen firsthand how she has supported, helped, loved, and cared for your children to help them to be the best they can be in life. And I really appreciate that from Principal Kerrigan. Yes, I'm applaud again. Now, my mama graduates, my mama knew I was coming to speak today. So she asked me to share a little bit of her wisdom. My mama's name is Ms. Barbara. She's 82 years young. And I listen to her. I'm sure you all listen to your mamas and your dads, right? That's right. So here's what she had to share with you today. Always ask at least one question every day so that you learn something new. Always believe that you are beautiful and intelligent, because you are. It never hurts to say please and thank you. Thank you. I like that, you're modeling. Listen to and respect your elders. Okay, she, she said that to me, I mostly, but that's a good piece of advice. Be kind to those who are less fortunate than you. And finally, keep your pants up and your hemlines down. Now that's my mama. <laughs> but whatever that might mean to you all. And I'm sure your parents, your guardians, your caretakers, your family may have similar or even better advice. But I know they are each proud to see you up here today. However, I'm here primarily to recognize and celebrate this fantastic class of 2018. You each and you all are awesome. You truly are. We have learned so much from each of you during your journey through St. Paul Public Schools and here at Bridgeview, and as you move on to Focus Beyond and Life Beyond. And today marks a milestone for you where you have room to carve out your path in your community to achieve successes as adults, to ask your parents and guardians and family to let go a little and let you experience life as an adult. And definitely to congratulate yourself for what you've done and accomplished. 
Now, do you all know what's happened here at Bridgeview Schools this year? I heard a rumor about these accomplishments. Our seniors this year have been working hard by expanding their skills in the high school workroom, where they are learning work skills that would be beneficial as they move on to focus beyond. If you haven't seen that workroom they have here at Bridgeview, I encourage you to schedule a tour today. It's do wonderful work in that workroom. I've seen it firsthand. Students here have had an opportunity to apply some of their work skills in a community at Belvedere and at the Museum of Modern Art, doing a variety of jobs such as cleaning, collating, greeting customers, and working with the public. Does some of you students enjoy doing that? Yeah, that's some great work there. They have also been exploring the community every Wednesday to learn about their community and their surroundings, learn to access resources and recreation and leisure activities. And finally, among the accomplishments this year, activities, students have become close friends over the year and they definitely support one another. And I've seen that this morning as they were greeting each other and getting ready to come in. So it's been a fantastic year here at Bridgeview. I just want to take a moment, if I may, to do a shout out to each of the graduates. You okay with that? Well, here's what I heard. I heard a rumor that some of you graduates, all of you graduates are pretty cool people. Aaliyah Bowie, where's Aaliyah? Aaliyah, yeah, let's applaud Aaliyah. Aaliyah, I understand you love music and singing. Is that right? and that you are a hard worker. That's pretty awesome, Aaliyah. Thank you for being that kind of leader. Yes. Absalon Farah, where's Absalon? Hey, how are you doing? I understand that you're independent. I like that. And that you have a good sense of self. You know who you are. That's gonna carry you far in life, Absalon. Thanks for being that way. You can applaud them if you want. Yes. <laughs> Gabriella Vivaldo Perez. Who's Gabriella? That. That is an awesome name. And you got your friend with you. I'm just so excited about that. I understand that you've got rhythm. Gabriella, I don't have rhythm. Maybe you can teach me some lessons. And I understand that you're always willing to volunteer for activities. That's a great spirit. Thank you so much for being that way, Gabriella. <laughs> Julissa Zhang. Where's Julissa? Are you Julissa? Awesome. Yes. How are you doing, Julissa? I just want to give you a quick shout out. You are awesome, I understand. I understand you're compassionate. Thank you for being compassionate. I like, to, I like having partners when I speak. And I understand that you are fashionable. Yes, you can help me with that, too. Congratulations, Julissa. Khalid Jenki. Where's Khalid? Hey, hey, Khalid, how you doing, man? All right. Khalid, I understand you're very artistic. Just like my sister. That's awesome. That's a great gift to have. And that you're independent and a hard worker. Thank you, Khalid, for being that way. That's awesome. Thank you. You bet. You bet. Cato Hill Gibbons. Cato. Hey. Cato, I, I understand you have the ability to perform a wide variety of tasks independently. That's awesome, man. That you're very motivated to interact with your peers through technology. You like technology, huh? That's what I work in. That's great, Cato. Thank you so much. Chasen Howe. Where's Chasen? Oh, there you go. Hey, Jason, how are you doing, man? All right. Chase, I understand you know what you want in life. That's a good quality. And that you're a very active young man. Thanks for that, Jason. That's awesome. <laughs> Malik Lewis. Where's Malik? <laughs> Malik, how you doing, man? Malik, I understand you like to dance. Uh oh. And you like to meet people. Yeah, so we met this morning. Thank you so much, Malik. You are an awesome young man. <laughs> Curtis Mayfield. Curtis, you over here? Where's Curtis? There he is. 
Curtis, you're named after a singer, I wonder. That's a great soul singer named Curtis Mayfield. And I understand that you are polite. My mama will especially like you. So, so if you need another grandmother, let me know. I'll hook you two up. I understand you have become a good self-advocate, too. It's always great to advocate for yourself. Thanks so much, Curtis, for being that way. And I understand I have Lucky Thong. Where's Lucky? Lucky! How you doing, man? Actually, I understand you're called The Duck. Is that right? All right, I like that name. And that you are a sharp-dressed man. There's a song about you by ZZ Top. Well, Lucky, thank you so much for being here. Let's give these great graduates another round of applause. All right. No, worry, when I get so excited, I just sweat up here. Don't worry about that. All right. <laughs> but graduates, we have some people we want to thank. As I close out my remarks, we have some people you want to thank. Let us thank your mamas, your papas, your grandparents, your guardians, your caretakers, family, friends. Let's thank all those wonderful people. If you are out here in the audience, please give a big hand. Yes. Thank you for advocating for your, and I'm going to say your babies. In two days, my baby, my son Andre, will be graduating from high school. So let me just tell you something. You know that part, now Principal Kerrigan won't like this. You know that part where they ask you to hold your applause when they announce your baby's name to all, all the graduates that announce? You know, when I hear Andre's name Sunday, <laughs> guess who's going to be the loudest person in the gym? <laughs> But well, seriously, never, never, never stop advocating for your children. You've done a great job of that. We know how you have experienced that here at Bridgeview with your unique journey and your children's unique journey. When we need to continue to hear your voices, and I know you will be there for your children as they move forward. And if you need a few more people to talk to, I know some people at the state capitol and in Washington who could use to hear your voice. Yes, indeed. And finally, let's, graduates, let's thank those wonderful teachers and staff, all those who have worked to help you be successful in life. Let's thank all the Bridgeview staff and teachers. So finally, as we come to this day, once again, I heartily congratulate each of you members of the class of 2018. You will shine. You will help make this world even better. The state and the city and this area even kinder. And overall, I will see you among the stars and beyond. Congratulations. Thank you. So now you know why he was one of our choices, big supporter of Bridgeview and gets to really know what's going on in our students. So thank you very much, Keith. All right, now it's time to hear some special music from the Bridgeview <laughs> Instrumental Chorus. Um, you're really going to enjoy this part. Good morning. My name is Jackie Edwards, and I am a music therapist here at Bridgeview. And I'm going to go, after, go um, off of what Dr. Gothard said about an exceptional community um, here at Bridgeview. This is just a small piece of our uh, Bridgeview instrumental chorus. Um, we uh, just got off of our uh, concert for the spring. And um, just because of room, that's why we couldn't bring everybody here. But um, uh, as music therapy, I'm just quickly, uh, music therapy... Um, we uh, do the best we can to support what is on the IEP. Um, and and um, this group here are, uh, is a choice group of students that show a little exceptional musical talent, so it's a little different than music therapy, yet we still do concentrate on some of the things that we, um, we uh, like to focus on. So I'm just going to start off so they can kind of loosen themselves up before we get started. I'm going to introduce our um, chorus members today. I'm going to start in the back row. 
Nathaniel. Then we have Angela. Ion. Ava. Peter. One of our graduates, Abdi Salan. Julissa. Another graduate. Steven. Tyler. Dijon. Front row, we have Julina. Perla. Maribet. The beautiful graduate, Aaliyah. And lovely Gabby. All right, so please enjoy our, our program today. The first thing we're going to start out with is we are going to do a song called I Like to Sing. And um, we like to focus on any kind of vocalization. Some we have yeah. verbal sounds, or verbal verbalizations, and some we just have some nice vocal sounds. We have very different um, kind of sounds today, but everybody's going to get a chance. They're going to do duets today, so please enjoy it. I like to say, I like to say, oh, I like to say, I like to say, oh, I like to say. Oh, I'm 
right, so the next thing we're going to do, see, I told you there was a lot of talent in this group. Um, <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is a, a song called Paper Lantern. So it's a little more relaxing, but you're going to see um, how these students, with their musical talents, the, the um, starting and the stopping and understanding the different components of a musical piece of when they play and when they do not play and waiting. Um, so we have, and then some counting as well that goes in it. All right, so we have some xylophones, we have a gong, we have tempo blocks. Just want to give you a few ideas of um, what we have. We have triangles, we have stirring drums. Who has a stirring drum? You can show everybody what a stirring drum is. You're going to hold it up. Can you hold it up? That's a stirring drum. We have a cocoricos, which is, uh, sure, Nathaniel. Oh, nice, Pete. Or Nathaniel, show us. Yep, go ahead, Peter. So, okay, so it makes that great sound. And we got our gentlemen up here ready for their eight count. And I cannot be, um, I'm sorry for not introducing my colleague, Sarah, uh, another music therapist here, new to Bridgeview, and we're so happy to have her. It's all right. All right, here we go.
All right, our last song today um, is honoring the graduates. It is called Bye Bye Gradu Graduates, and it's become an annual song. Um, so we have some signs here. I'll, I'm sorry, I'll let you get through. Miss Gabby is going to be one of our pointers pointing to the names, and Julissa, another graduate. We have some singers, and also I'm going to ask all of you to please join in singing as well. So we will have the Bye Bye Graduates. Aaliyah is going to be um, leading us in that. And then on the verses, as each person, we will sing the name, then we will repeat it. So the soloist will say the name, and then it, we would like you to please join and just repeat what they sing. Okay? That would be just great. All right. Jalisa. amazing awesome oh I love that song you guys did great thank you let's give them another round of applause okay um, at this time if uh, John Schumacher could come up for the official conferring of diplomas and then um, so are you ready graduates because we are now ready to honor you by handing out your high school diplomas so um, when you hear your name, we're going to have you come forward, receive your diploma, and shake hands. And I do want to say, unfortunately, um, our last graduate that you will hear today is no longer with us. But he lives in our memory, our hearts, and you will see a picture um, honoring our friend A. Blue on the screen um, when we get to his name. So um, this is why I get paid the big bucks. By the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota, 
and by the Board of Education of Independent School District number 625. I hereby confer upon each of you the high school diploma with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations, yay! Curtis Mayfield. Abdi Salan Farah. Gabriela Vivaldo Perez. Aliyah Bowie. <laughs> Jalisa Shong. Khalid Jenki. <laughs> Chasen How. Cato Lee Hill Givens. <laughs> Malik Lewis. Lucky Klang. <laughs> 
Ablu Ways. Oh my gosh, here we are, graduates. All right, I just really cannot, and I know I've said it, but I just am so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations. Okay, so in closing, I want to circle back, and I want to just repeat something I said earlier that the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with heart. It is now time for you to embrace your future with feeling and heart. And by doing this, you will always succeed. Congratulations. Thank you. Woo. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. Uh, the support, we feel it. We love it. Um, so we'd like for you to join us outside uh, in the courtyard between Bridgeview and Focus Beyond for a reception so we can celebrate these amazing young adults. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>